sir. <laughs> right? As an officer, I can deny you to come into our government That would be a very building. big mistake, though. That would be a big mistake on sir? your part. At the Nassau County Government Building in Mineola, New York, the security guards are about to get school. Today I'm coming to you live. Long Island Audit, Sean Paul Reyes is challenging the policy, and he's one of the most successful constitutional auditors in America. I'm here to see the, um, the county clerk. Okay. So do I just... your driver's license? I don't, I don't have a driver's license. Uh, what is your name? Ben. From the beginning, the security guards were out of their league. Yeah. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin? Correct. What's your date of birth, Ben? Why do you need my date of birth? What is your date of birth? Do you want to come in this building? Yeah, I have business to conduct, ma'am. I, I just don't see why this is not Nazi Germany. I don't see why I would need to What's give... What's your date of birth? I need your address. My address and my date of birth? Yes. For what, ma'am? Do I don't understand. Do you, have a, um... do you have a supervisor I could speak with? Yes, she does. And the supervisor is also in a grumpy mood. Yeah, Sir, please put the phone away, please. You're not allowed to video or tape. I'm sorry? Please pull away. Why, why I'm can't I? you nicely because there's a sign posted outside that you can't do that in here. Why can't I record in here? Who are you here to see the county clerk? I'm here to see the county clerk. I have business to conduct. I have to do a public records request. Being, okay. Me being hurt. Do you have I, anything I don't, on you? Okay. How do I go ahead? I have. That you can show us your name. No, no, so no. So we can no. let you in. I don't have anything with my name. Okay. I don't have. Hold I want to. Please just say yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Ridiculous. While the supervisor gets another supervisor. Put that off. I'm not turning anything off, ma'am. You are turning it off. I'm not turning it off, ma'am. The biggest hypocrites of them all. They're always recording us, but the minute we record them, it's an issue. Outside, another supervisor with an attitude. Can I get your name? Say it. Oh. Is that Brodsky? Broad. Brodsky. Mm -hmm. See, this is why it's more polite to tell somebody their name. Um, so I can't enter in a public building and conduct services without showing some sort of government ID. That's uh, that sounds license. like sounds like Nazi Germany to me, not the United States of America. It's under a, whose it's authority? It's a county building. It's a policy of the building. It's a policy, policy of the building. Of the county. This building needs ID in order to go in. Can you show me the policy? Where is Can the policy? I, I, I don't have it on me, but that is the policy. So you're enforcing That's a policy that you can't even show me. The sign is on there. You're enforcing a policy you can't even you show me. Call, uh, it's a sign. So you can take that too, please. Business, Where? Please have picture ID ready to show the public. This is a taxpayer funded ID. I'm trying to conduct okay, business. Okay, but is that, you don't need an ID to vote for the president of the United States, but yet you need an ID to enter in some county building? That doesn't even make any sense. With the police on their way back inside, the first supervisor said it was like flying. Now, if you were to get on the airplane, mm -hmm. would you be able to get in without your driver's license? No, because that's a okay. private company. Okay. That's why. Hi, so we have a gentleman here and he, you can talk to him. Hi, sir. How are you? What's going on? Reyes calmly explained the issue to the two officers and security supervisor. I'm here to see the county clerk. Okay. And awesome. because I don't have, because I don't have ID and I won't show ID, they're denying me public services. Okay. And at that point, I feel like my my constitutional rights are being violated by the public safety here. I'm trying to, this is a public building. Okay. Just because it's been a policy for a long time, that means nobody's come here to challenge that policy. And that's what I'm doing here today. That's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm challenging that policy because it's unconstitutional. The officer that's what it pointed is. to the sign. You see the signs right here. It must show it's an un, ID. sir. When the term sir, officer, it's an unconstitutional policy. You and your partner took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. Yeah, yeah, we right now, so yeah, yeah, we understand that, he said. Now, somebody is in violation of that Constitution, and you're not, and you're all you're doing is allowing it to happen. The officer said Reyes was risking a trespassing citation. You're not leaving, and they're gonna have you on the trespass form. You're gonna be getting arrested for trespass. Okay, so are you gonna give me a trespass? Am I being trespassed on the we're, building? We got a trespass form. You have to sign. That's it. If, if you okay, great. If you come I'll do that. Do that. All yep. Right, no problem. So we, we'll go ahead and do that route. Big mistake. You guys are opening yourself up to civil litigation here. Okay. Big mistake. But I'll take that trespass form. Yeah, no problem. Back outside, within minutes, Police Sergeant Thomas McDonough arrived. Hey, how you doing today, hey, how you doing today Sarge? Good. Yeah, so I'm basically I wanted to speak with you because I'm being trespassed from this building. Okay. I'm trying to conduct business. I'm a journalist. I'm trying to conduct business here by doing a Freedom of Information Act request. Okay. 
Sergeant McDonough was calm and tried to clarify things. So they're saying if you show them government ID, they'll I would be able to clerk? correct. That's what they're saying, and that's and what I'm saying is that's unconstitutional. Okay. And I understand we might have difference of opinion, but the, the reason why I'm here today is to challenge that unconstitutional uh, policy and that has that th so all is there, authorization. Is there certain parts of the building you're not allowed to go in. You're just no, just you're not allowed to go into the all. into the building at all without a government issued ID. All right, I'm going to go speak to them. All right, thanks, Sergeant. Right. Appreciate it. As the sergeant went inside, Reyes tried to get the name of one of the more defiant officers. Hey, sir, I, I don't think I just got your name and badge number. Hey, sir. Sir? Check your camera. Can I get your name and badge number? Check your camera. Is that is that your name? Check your camera. All right, thanks, officer. Check your camera. Appreciate it. In nearly every U.S. police department, uniformed officers are required to identify themselves when asked. Officer, check your camera. That's probably why you're not sergeant, check your camera, right? <laughs> That's probably why. Note to officers, cameras have a zoom lens. Officer Thurston, 4008. A short time later, while Sergeant McDonough was inside, Officer Thurston defended the building's policy. Show ID. Maybe this won't be the policy so next week. Maybe it won't Maybe be the not, policy any. It is right now. Okay. It is right now, right? Great. You're right, it is. Doesn't make it right. Doesn't make it constitutional. Maybe not, but that's their policy right now. We want to know who walks in and out of the building. Especially when you're looking for information. Because when you're looking for information, the government should know who you are. Uh, no. And within minutes, Sergeant McDonough told Reyes he was right and was clear to go inside without a name or identification. Help you with, with anything you need, you just got to go through the security thing, and uh, okay, you're welcome to go in there. All right, All thanks, right. Sergeant. Come on in. Appreciate it. Plus, it's a little warmer in here, you know. Plus, it's a little warmer in here. He said. Thank you. Where's the uh, city clerk? I mean, the county clerk? They're going to help you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hi, sir. Hi. How can I help you? Hi. What was your name? Joanne. Joanne. Nice to meet you, Joanne. Nice to meet you. What can um, we help you with today? I just wanted to do a uh, FOIL request. Okay. Reyes got the information he needed, and before the police left, Sergeant McDonough offered this. You're exercising your constitutional rights. I think that's awesome. Correct. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Sergeant. You are exercising your constitutional rights. I think that's awesome. Yes, finally, a police leader who gets it. Kudos to Sergeant Thomas McDonough of the Nassau County Police Department because even though an officer below him showed a bad attitude and county building security clearly didn't give a damn about the Constitution, Sergeant McDonough understands the importance of protecting our rights, even when it may seem strange or inconvenient. As long as there are police like Sergeant McDonough and auditors like Sean Paul Reyes, there is reason to be hopeful about the future. The relationship between law enforcement and the public does not have to be adversarial. It just needs to be respectful. And when it is respectful both ways, change begins and trust can grow. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching.